How you going, guys? Did you have, how many people went to the Melbourne Blues Festival? It was, I'm just, I was just running from one stage to the other. It was fantastic. And um, I saw Bonnie Ray and Mae Staples at the Palais and Buddy Guy at the Palais as well. And I got right up front at the festival for Buddy Guy. And I tell you what, I'm in love. I am in love with that man. He might be 86 years old. I'll take him anytime. <laughs> anyway, I'm from North Carolina, moved to Melbourne, lived here 20 years and then went up north for the warmth. And with my husband, who's now my ex, we won't talk about that, but I'll sing about it. <laughs> and this is Monsoon Mal, Mal Stanky, who lives up there, and I was lucky enough to find him, and he is my right hand man, is the most extraordinary hot player. So give a hand for Monsoon Mal. Thank you, everybody. Looking forward to playing for you guys. Awesome to see so many people here. It's lovely. So, yeah, we want to show you some blue. All right, well, this first song, because I went to see Bonnie Ray, I thought we've got to start the set off with this. But I'm also dedicating it to my dearest, and she doesn't like me to call her my oldest friend, but she's my, <laughs> in longevity, we've been friends for 35 years. She's loved this song ever since I started singing it. So this is for you, Maggie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> They can never love me, can't even love on the shelf Well, I need someone to love me Oh, is there anyone out there who can? I believe me when I tell you, baby You could love me like a man They all want me to rock them like my back ain't got no bone
to James Bridges, who was in Collard Greens and Gravy, and who taught me how to play slide guitar 20 years ago. And uh, he's not with us anymore, but this is a time that I always take just a moment and say, this is for you, James, and can we have a toast for the man? He was such a beautiful soul and an amazing guitar player. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I wrote this song. We had a very brief fling, of course, as you do, as, you know, musicians, teacher and mentor. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I thought I was quite in love with him and didn't work out. He told me I wasn't the one. Oh. But we've been great friends ever since. And, but I wrote this song about him. <laughs>
I told you about it, shouldn't I? Yes, I don't actually know what the set list oh, no. is. <laughs> ah, okay. This one. This is another song I wrote about a man. There's a bit of a theme going here, but the blues is about love, don't you agree? Songs about love, songs about love not going really good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is one that uh, I wrote. Started off being a bit of a, you know, well, I know he's got to do this thing as a musician, do his thing and do it, you know, all that kind of thing. But then, um, and I was quite accepting until I found out that he didn't think that fidelity was included in that decision. <laughs> so uh, things didn't go very well after that. <laughs> But anyway, this started off to be a very gentle, you know, song philosophizing about it. But somebody up in town, out, sorry, Mission Beach, changed the song for me. And um, it is a sing-along, bit of a sing-along. He's going to lead you. And uh, we'll go from there. And if you're in the room, person who the song is about, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's called Hold On. Do I hold on? Oh, let him 
फ्ला हुए
Just don't come back now. You hear? Do I hold on? Best songs are written when you're mad. Never want to break up with a musician. You could have songs sung about you all That's over right. Australia. Or at least the East Coast. <laughs> uh, Alright. <laughs> so I know a few of you people have seen Debbie before, but seen The Beast, which is what's getting tuned at the moment. Not a banjo, obviously, we're at a blues club, so you probably know that. But yes, custom made resonator. Made off of... By Tom, yeah, yeah. By Paul Dolby. Give credit. You tell us to it. Oh, yeah. anyway, it was made by Tom, <laughs> Paul Dolby. And, uh, He's a luthier and he um, does all the swap shop repairs. But one day his wife brought home this old American pie plate that she'd found in an op shop and it was kind of a decoration. The old pie plates, they have a hole in the bottom and they, it's what you put pie in to cool and serve if you want it. And uh, he kept looking at it and then he went, hey, can I have that? And she was like, well, yeah, if you want it. And, uh, the result, that's the pie plate, and he built the guitar around the pie plate. So it's pretty damn special, and after a, a couple of years I convinced him, I think it was my 50th birthday, and I convinced him to sell it, let me buy it from him, <laughs> for my 50th birthday. And that's how we got the beast. And that's how the beast came to be. Thank you, yeah. Seeing a pie plate and making a guitar is exactly what I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm debating between I'm fine and love my baby. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'm changing I'm changing my mind again. This is a song that uh, is on my CD, which I do have few left for sale. There's not many left, but um, there's a few out the back there. And uh, it's a song, very song, sad song, slow song. If you want to go get a drink, if you don't like sad blues, go do it now. I recommend hard liquor for this one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a song that I used to sing and didn't really know what that pain was, but I certainly do now. So um, it's called Love My Baby. I love it. 
Marvin. Oh 
of someone else. He's been very excited about coming down to Melbourne town. Yeah. Well, it's like sometimes up in towns, well, honestly, it's definitely not a house like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of which, I think it's time for you to do, uh, want to do one of mine. One of your songs. I love this song. It's so, <laughs> it's so perfect at the moment for me. All right. So funnily enough, like we were talking about towns and things and music and those sort of things. So this one's called Need That Dollar Again. And very pertinent to me, he's just been made redundant. Yes, <laughs> hard times out there. I know. <laughs> Dollar again, that dollar again, need 
It's a tune. It's a tune. One I've just started playing, so and I just live it. Next song is one I wrote. 
And uh, boys. Huh? Last one. Oh, really? Oh. Well, All right. we, we, we can talk to the boss. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is one I wrote. And it is all about uh, life changing. And uh, it's a sing-along, so I really, really, really do need you to sing with me on this one. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. And it's really, you don't even have to sing, you can yell it. All right? Promise? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, come on, you promise. <laughs> yeah. We'll help you, Debbie. Yeah. You'll let the... Life's already deep. If that's the case, what the hell does that mean? You spend all your time just trying to see why that rug was pulled out from under me. Now, as Buddy says, said, that just ain't good enough. <laughs> that just ain't good enough. You're messing with my song. It's the last one. Come on, it's the last it. one. I want to hear you. We got more acts coming, so let's give him some. <laughs> Just like a wave You can be on top Then under in one day Oh, you gotta ride it hard, girl Or so it seems Or that rug Will get pulled out from under Got that 
do it loud enough. Are you ready? Two, three, four. I got that rug.